Shane here at TechScan. In this video, I want to show you how to set up your digital impression now that you've imported it into your patient. The first thing we're going to do is go up to the digital impression icon, left click. You can see that the T-Scan software imports the digital impression into the 2D view. At this point, you want to verify that the force contacts and locations match up with what you see on the patient. If you need to make any changes, just go up to this tab, left click, and T-Scan gives you two options to align the digital impression. The first option is three-point alignment. Essentially what you're going to do is you're going to match up force data on three different areas with the proper locations. While you can choose any location we want, the ones we recommend are left molar, right molar, and central incisor. Let me show you how this works. First, we're gonna pick the force data or the force contact point, left click, and then I'm gonna pick the location wise where I wanna move that force data to, left click again. And now we're gonna do the same thing for the right molar. Pick the force data, find the right location, and then one more time for central incisor, force data, find location and then hit apply. And you'll see that the T-Scan software will automatically realign the digital uh, overlay based on those uh, three data set points. The second way to do it, which is probably the most common way to do it, is to use manual alignment. And there's two buttons here. The 3D allows you to align the occlusal plane. And the second button here allows you to align the, ver the vertical and horizontal positioning. To show you how to do that, you just have to left click anywhere on the digital overlay. So left click and hold, and you can move that digital impression anywhere you want. Once you've lined it up properly to where you want to line it up, hit X. Make many changes, hit yes to save those changes. I'm just gonna hit no. And one last tip, now that you've properly aligned the digital impression, you can now maneuver these black lines to give you the proper tube width from one tube to the other. To do that, just left click on the, on the black bar here, position it to where it lines up between, in this case, between three and four. Do the same thing for two. And now you have the proper tooth width between each black line as well. So I hope this helps. If you have any questions, let us know.